Hi artists! I am Mrs. Comer and I am the art teacher at Christenberry Elementary and I am here with you today to teach you um, how to go on a texture scavenger hunt because we know that in art, um, something that you'll find in art when you're looking at art and you're studying art is that a lot of art has texture. Some of it is like physical texture, the way something feels like my shirt um, feels very soft um, and my earrings that I'm wearing are super smooth very very smooth my hair is not as smooth um, so when we're thinking about textures we're learning how things feel there's also something called implied texture which is where I look at a drawing maybe somebody drew something that looks very bumpy or rough but in real life it's just a drawing so what we're going to be doing today is exploring where we live. Um, we're going to be touching a lot of stuff, feeling things, um, asking ourselves, how does this feel? What does this object feel like to me? And describing it, uh, because an important part of art is learning how to describe what you see. Um, and part of that is texture. So we're going to go on a scavenger hunt. And we're going to try to find as many different textures as we can today. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's start by actually learning what some textures are. You have smooth, rough, hard, soft, woven, bumpy or lumpy, jagged, rigid. Here are some textures that you would probably find outside, which we will do today going on our scavenger hunt. Things like grass and rocks all have different textures. You also have um, wet textures, soft, sandy, fluffy, bumpy, slick textures, scaly pointy. Um, there are lots of different textures that you will find today on your scavenger hunt, hopefully. So now that we have learned so many of um, our texture words, we can start by actually just feeling things that we are wearing to get ourselves a little more acquainted with texture. So again, I showed you my earrings, my hair, um, this part of my shirt. This part of my shirt is um, when I'm feeling it, I'm asking myself like, well, what is the feeling of it when I touch it with my hands feels pretty rough actually and when I'm looking around myself here at my table um, I found some things really close by that I can feel and describe the texture to you as well. So I have this really awesome um, vase that I got in Guatemala. This part of the vase is very very smooth. It's made of clay, it's glazed, so this part is very smooth but the artist who made it on the outside here made this part very, very bumpy. I don't know if you can really see the bumps, but when I feel it, I'm noticing that the texture is changing from smooth to bumpy, which I like. I also have this placemat, and it has a woven texture. It's um, An artist have made it by weaving different fibers together. So when I feel that, that feels very different than my shirt or my earrings or this flower base. I can even touch my shoe. Um, the inside of my slipper is super fuzzy, um, but the bottom side is going to be kind of rough. So anyway, you can just start by feeling what does your hair feel like? What does your skin feel like? What about your shirt or your pants? Do you have socks on? Um, all of these things will have different textures. So get yourself acquainted with that, and then we'll go over um, some materials that we'll need to start making our art. Here are some materials that we are gonna need for our texture scavenger hunt. All you need is one piece of paper. You need crayons or a pencil would also work. And we need to find as many things as we can that have different textures. That is it. Now let's say that at your house, you don't have a piece of paper or crayons or a pencil right now. That is okay. You can still go on a texture scavenger hunt because all you really need to do is use your hands and your fingers to feel um, different objects and in your brain, you can ask yourself what they feel like. You can also talk to siblings or family members around you about things that um, you're finding and the way that they feel. So it's totally okay if you don't have paper and crayons to make your texture rubbings. But if you do, that would make this really, really fun.
All right, so I found myself my piece of white paper that I'm going to use. It's just a blank piece of paper. I also found some crayons that I put in a cup, and I'm gonna carry these around with me as we go on our texture scavenger hunt. So the fun thing right now is that you're gonna to get to watch me walk around, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by feeling different objects. I'm gonna ask myself, what kind of texture does this have? How would I describe it? And then what I'm going to do is take my piece of paper, and I'm gonna place the paper on top of the object that I was feeling. So basically I'm taking this paper, I'm hiding the object with the texture, and I'm gonna take any color crayon or the pencil, and I'm gonna just start rubbing over that object. Now the important thing here is that you're not taking a crayon and drawing on the actual object. That's not a texture rubbing, that's just you scribbling on stuff. The important thing is that you put your white paper on top of the texture object and then you're using your crayon on top of your paper. So I will show you what that looks like now. All right, so I have been walking around just my kitchen where I've been sitting and the first thing that I noticed that I really wanted to feel the texture of was this tile that I have in my kitchen. What do you think the texture is? They're kind of round, they're very smooth. The area in between is called route. It is very rough. Um, and I really wanted to capture this texture on my paper. So again, what I'm gonna do is take my white paper, I'm gonna hide my texture object so that you cannot see part of it. And I am gonna grab a crayon, I'm gonna use the color black, and I hold my paper really still. And then what I'm gonna do is take my crayon and I just start rubbing over like this. And what's happening? What do you see? Yeah, you see the texture of this object showing up on my paper just like this. It's also fun because I could even switch colors halfway through. As long as I'm holding it in the same spot, I could add some green on top of it. Bring it out like this. Put my crayon back in my crayon cup. And then I'm gonna move on to a totally different texture. Okay, so here I am walking around my house. I have my paper, I have my crayons, and my job right now is just to feel different objects that I'm finding. Because remember, this is a scavenger hunt. We're on a hunt to find as many cool textures as we can. And luckily, I found one. Okay, at our house, we have these giant Lego blocks. And when I felt them, although part of them felt very smooth, I knew right away that I would be able to capture a really cool texture on my paper. So what I'm going to do is take my paper from earlier. I'm actually going to switch colors because I think that makes my art more interesting. I'm going to find a blank place to place the paper like this. And what I'm going to do is kind of hold it still. Again, I'm going to take my crayon. And I'm just rubbing over the object with my paper on top of it, like this. Like that. And what I've done is I've captured this kind of smooth and rough and bumpy texture all in one. Here's what my art looks like so far. So what I'm going to do now is keep going on a scavenger hunt. Um, for these different textures and way things feel, but I think this time, since it's so pretty outside, I'm gonna take my art outside and go hunt for it there. Whoa, do you guys see what I see? Right now, I'm feeling these bricks, and what do you think the texture of that feels like? Ooh, rough, scratchy, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. So I definitely wanna capture this texture for my texture rubbing. I'm gonna take my cup, get a new color out. Um, I actually want to switch to red. I think that would look really cool on my texture rubbing. Place my paper on top of my brick and what do I do? Yeah, I color over it just like I have been. That's super interesting. I might switch colors. Maybe I'll switch to pink. Ooh, very scratchy, very rigid, very rough. 
check it out. Look at all these textures I have so far. All right, guys, what did I find now that has a super great texture? A tree. This tree bark has very interesting texture. I'm feeling it with my hand. I'm noticing that it's very rough, but also in some places it's kind of soft and smooth. So I'm going to take a new crayon. What color have I not used? I've used pink, red, blue, black, and green. So that means I think right now I want to use orange. So I'm going to take my paper up against this tree. Be very careful not to disturb this ant behind it. There we go. Getting the tree bark just like this. I'm even coloring all the way out to the edge of the paper. Like this. See? Check it out. Okay, so I'm still on my scavenger hunt outside, and I went into my card port, and I found some just random things that are stacked up that I haven't touched in a long time. And I noticed this flower pot down here has kind of a woven texture. I know that because of the way that it feels and the way that it looks. So when I look at my paper, I'm asking myself, what color have I not used yet? I've used orange, red, pink, black, green, blue. I have yet to use purple. So I'm going to use purple. I'm placing my paper over this flower pot. And hopefully I'll catch this kind of cool woven texture that I can see with my eyes. Very cool. What do you think? Right, guys I'm still on my texture scavenger hunt outside and I ran into my husband and best friend Mr. Comer and also my son Ansel and you know what I thought would be so fun to get a texture rubbing of the bottom of Ansel's shoe is that okay Ansel please please okay so I'm taking my crayons I already looked to see what colors I haven't used yet and right now um, I am actually going to use a peach color like this. So we're going to hold Ansel here. And right now I'm just holding the paper in place and doing what I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> Does that tickle? Is that funny? Kind of tricky. But look at this texture I got. All right. So I'm pretty much on my last texture that I'm going to show you. I hope that you take your scavenger hunt as many places as possible and you can do this again and again and again because there are textures everywhere, inside and outside. There's so many more that I could have grabbed. But as I was walking around outside going back inside, um, I noticed this other flower pot that I have. Mr. Comer and I have been growing sweet potatoes and on the side of this flower pot, um, are actually the impressions of flowers and leaves. And when I feel them, I can feel their shapes. So I know as an artist that when I grab my crayon and my paper and make a texture rubbing of it, it's going to show up really neat. So I'm going to grab another color from my crayon cup. Might do another blue on this side of my paper since I have blue on the other. I'm going to put my paper, kind of wrap it around see if I can capture this texture and I can oh it looks so cool just like this I can even take my paper move it around a little bit and get my flower texture impressions this way. See? So here, I have almost filled up my whole paper. Um, I have smooth textures and bumpy textures, rough, rigid, woven, um, what else? Kind of a sharp texture, a wavy texture right over here. And um, something that I could do as an artist is I could actually 
show this to a sibling or a family member and I could tell them and describe all these textures that I captured with my crayons. Um, I could even flip my paper over and do a totally different texture rubbing on this side of my paper too. So I hope that today you are able to go on the most fun texture scavenger hunt that you've ever been on. I hope you use your creativity and um, your sense of feeling to go around and find the most textures that you possibly can. And I hope to be doing art with you very soon. I'll see you later.